Hello everyone and welcome to the Banterweight Boxing YouTube channel, pound for pound, the number one boxing YouTube channel around. As you can probably tell, I'm on my own today, my brothers have ditched me, but I wanted to make a quick video um, just about a new story that I've just seen involving Dillian White. Yes, I know we only talk about Dillian White, I do need to talk about some other fighters, but I'm just finding this whole thing with him and Tyson Fury quite interesting at the moment. And I've invested a lot into uh, following Dillian White. Um, so anytime I see him in the news, I love to talk about him. Um, also as well today, bear with me. I was out last night, so I'm looking slightly rough, I can see on the camera. Um, and I'm probably going to get my words mixed up quite a few times because I do that even when I'm not hungover. So we'll see. But let's get into it. So what I actually wanted to talk about was Dillian White, Tyson Fury, the fight's still not agreed. Um, and there's a lot of shenanigans going on between um, the two promoters and getting the fight arranged. So basically, the WBC, after listening to Bob Arum, have gone and given it an 80-20 per spid split, obviously in favour of Tyson Fury, which, you know, to most of us does seem a bit muggy. Um, it's quite a big, big difference considering, you know, why it is... Uh, whatever it is, the silver champion or, or, or whatever, I can never remember. Uh, but basically, it's the number one contender. So I think in their own, in the WBC's own laws, I think he's entitled to at least 60-40. But um, WBC, after listening to Aram, have ruled 80-20. Now, for why, yeah, that is, you know, that is a bit harsh, but still, it's the most money he'll he'll be making, um, probably in any of his fights. And if you compare it to... You know, you compare what Tyson Fury made in his last fight, I think it was about 20 million, and White only made, I think it was like 300 grand against old Povetkin. Um, so if White does fight Tyson Fury, even if he gets like, what, 20% 20, 20 of the bid or, or the purse, he's still going to make, you know, a decent a decent amount. Um, the actual numbers, I've got, fuck, I've got no idea. Um, math was not my strong point, and I'm not going to try and work it out. But... It's going to be a few mil, I reckon, but a big, you know, a big uh, cash in for, for White. So it's a difficult one for him and Hearn and like for the fans, because you don't know whether to just say, oh, White, just take just take the 20. Um, and you're also getting a title shot. So, you know, um, even though it is a mandatory, you, you know, you, you're going to get a big payday and a chance to become the WBC world champion. But Eddie Hearn... One pound note, Eddie Hearn is not having any of it. He suddenly really gives a shit about Dillian White, which we haven't seen for a while. Um, and he's not having it. He's pushing back uh, and he's trying to get a 60-40 kind of split or, or, uh, or you know, even more of a, more than that for Dillian White. Um, but the reason why I brought all of this up and I was just giving a bit of context there, a bit of stuff around it, is because it's quite interesting because I don't know now if Eddie Hearn and Dillian White are like about to pull off a master strategy here, because it's become quite clear that Tyson Fury, if I think I, I don't know what the hundred percent what the sources are, but there's been a lot of talks that uh, Fury's saying if they get a 60-40 split, he's pulling out of the fight. He's going to vacate the WBC because he's not going to make anywhere near as much money as he could if he fought Usyk or AJ or something like that, and he risks you know, fighting a really dangerous opponent in the body snatcher. So I don't know if Eddie Hearn is pulling off a master plan here and is going to force, um, keep pushing this 60-40 split so that um, Fury just goes, you know what, have it, mate. Don't really care about the WBC belt. I just want to make some moolah and gives it to Liam White, and he gets becomes a world champion without even having to fight anyone. Or, you know, they might give him another eliminator or something like that, but they'll, they, they're very likely that they'll just boost him up to the world champion. So, really interesting one here. Fair play to Eddie Hearn and Dillian White if they're doing this. Um, it's not the greatest thing for the sport, but if that's their plan, it's a, pre it's a pretty smart one. Um, but we have to talk about... You know, it's a funny one with Dillian White. I've been a massive fan of him for ages. I've already been banging on about him in every pod. He gets all my solo videos are about Dillian White. Um, 
But the reason why me and my brothers were such a big fan of him was because he wanted to fight everyone, uh, wanted to fight the best. You kind of felt he had um, a bit of an old school Rocky kind of mentality of, I'm not fighting for the money. I'm fighting because I love the sport and I love fighting. You know, you've got a bit of glimpses of, glimpses of that. Um, and, you know, we're not idiots. We know, obviously, they're in the game to make money. And I, I hope he does make a lot. But you felt um, that there was a bit more to it. Um, and, yeah, that's what we kind of liked about Dillian White. So he's been banging on for a long time now about getting this world title shot. You know, WBC have fucked me over loads of times, won't give me the chance to fight anyone. But here, he's got a chance to fight WBC world champion Tyson Fury, one of the biggest names in boxing, massive fight. And it's like, you're not going to grab it with two hands, you're not going to take it. You're going to go through this whole arbitration and all this messy stuff. It's, you know, I get it, I get it. But it does frustrate me a little bit, mainly because I love the fight. And I've just got a feeling that we're not going to see it. I really, uh, with all this talk, I, I don't think Fury wants to fight. Um, I think Dillian White's got other things on his mind of just trying to get get that WBC belt without fighting him. And I think they might work something out where they both just go, you know what, let's just leave this. Um, which I hope they don't because I think it's a brilliant fight. Uh, but yeah, don't know if I want to say disappointed in Dillian White. I think that's probably too harsh. I'm not disappointed in him, but I would have liked him to, to have just gone, yeah, let's have that fight, let's get it on. But then at the same time, you know, if you feel you're being cheated out of money and you're getting in the ring with some mean fucker like Tyson Fury, I'm going to want every pound I'm owed. So um, in that sense, fair enough to him. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. As it goes on, I'm starting to think less and less I feel like we're going to see this fight. But... Hopefully we do. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video there. Just talking about what's going on with uh, Tyson Fury and Dillian White. Really interesting. We'll see, we'll see how it plays out. But anyway, thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. We'll be back next week and I'll have some faces next to me doing another podcast. But thank you for listening and goodbye.